1.15 a.m. It's actually July 13th. I haven't made a video in a while, but um, I found something I could talk about. So what I've been stewing is sitting here mostly and just picking up stuff telepathically. Um, small words are coming to me and so I'm just writing them down as they come to me. Um, it's really important for me to get out of this situation as quickly as possible and safe to go to safety. Um, I'm continuing to be attacked on a nightly basis. Um, so right now I'm experiencing an attack. My heart is fluttering. Um, I have shakiness. Um, I'm not shaking like it was before, but I was shaking a lot or my teeth were chattering really loud and everything. Um, I can feel, you know, a headache. It's not normal. Um, I can tell there's cognitive effects. Um, there's effects to my writing. Um, you know, ability to process information and things like that. So that's all started. Um, since I've been writing regularly, I can see it happen when it happens. It's, it's easy, kind of easy to tell when you're trying to write something out and all of a sudden you find it difficult to write. So I would say that this started about, you know, a little after midnight. I was um, writing some stream of consciousness and then I started to write down some more things that they were coming to me and then um, oh I don't know it's been off and on it's been since midnight anyway about okay so um, a lot of the stuff that I'm writing down I don't necessarily understand what the connections are so sometimes I, I'm coming up with words and I'll look them up um, you know like this uh, Yokohana came to me I didn't know what Yokohana was this is a city in Japan um, but it's also associated with um, Yokohama tires rubber and tires and things like that um, so some of this stuff has been like puzzles um, and a lot of it's been like puzzles that I just I don't I don't necessarily even understand what's going on so but I'm just I'm just taking down what comes to me um, but then I got, got a series of things that I thought were um, probably something that people were saying about me so um, wow you know Considering that I discovered something, I discovered something weird was going on in 2013. I knew that it was involved surveillance in my home by January 2014. And here we are, July 13th, 2021, and I'm finally getting sort of a list. I mean, I could kind of tell what people were saying, but I not, in, not well enough to actually address it. Um, and I mean, even here, I just have one word to, to, stuff to work with, but you know, in the context of, you know, all this time that's gone by, I can kind of guess the context here of what's going on. Um, you know, I, it took me a long time to even figure out there's some sort of, like, people are trying to judge me, and I'm still not quite certain what they're trying to judge. I think that they're supposed to be judging character, which um, shouldn't be so hard as it seems to be. And I think that the reason that it's difficult is because people are misrepresenting us, are trying to set, you know, have the whole time been trying to misrepresent us, set us up in situations where we can be misrepresented, um, lead us down, you know, the wrong path. So now I'm getting like weird sort of, I guess it's my heart and breathing and being affected even more now. Um, but that's just the facts, you know, and why should, you know, why should I have to be terrorized because I'm sitting here trying to tell the truth um, in the face of um, what appears to be decades of lies. Um, and 
And I mean, you know, this is the point where it's, you know, such serious danger right now. Um, it should just be sufficient that I'm of good character and I am of good character. And I don't think anybody who knows me would ever honestly say anything different than that. Um, but it appears that there's been a lot of dishonesty going on. So um, this appears to be a list of people, what people have said about me to say that I'm not of good character. You know, I'm sure it's not a complete list, but um, so, but it's something that I can address, right? Um, so, but it's difficult right now because I'm being attacked with frequency-based attacks. So that's, you know, number one, like, okay, if you think that I'm on trial, you know, I mean, I hope you don't think I'm on trial because this is not anything like a fair trial, but if it's just like, oh, you're trying to figure out am I of good character or not, um, you should question why I have to be even doing this in the face of these directed energy attacks. So then there's this question of, do people really understand that these directed energy attacks are going on, you know? Are they pretending that they don't know that they're going on? Or do they genuinely not know that they're going on? Um, I think both things might be happening. But I think more people are pretending. Uh, I think a lot of people are pretending. Um, then once you, you know, acknowledge to yourself at least that these are going on, then you have to question yourself. Why would somebody who's trying to genuinely evaluate my character feel the need to attack me with directed energy? while I'm trying to, you know, address whatever is being said or the accusations that are being made. I mean, why would they do that? They're not not for any good reason. Not because they actually want to get to the truth. So that should disqualify the whole process. It should have disqualified the whole process before the process even started. Um, So, you know, the, the, the ways that you tell somebody is a good character, you know, you get character references. But generally when that's happening, the person who's being um, evaluated is aware of what those references say and can, you know, either choose to give them to you or not. Um, or if you're in a more of a formalized trial situation or whatever, uh, I don't know why I should be on trial, but, you know, let's just say that I am then, you know, there's rules of evidence, there's cross-examination of witnesses, you know, the right to face your accusers, the right to know what the accusations are, all of those things, none of that's been applied to me. So, um, and that's all in order to drag this out so long that everybody dies. Um, and they don't just die, like they're getting killed, right? Okay, so um, that's what's going on. Um, so I think that maybe you should err in my favor in terms of whether I'm a good character or not by this point, um, unless you have some sort of smoking gun, but even if you have a smoking gun, right, some sort of evidence, you know, compelling evidence that I've done something terrible, um, I should at least be able to address it directly, you know, because we need to move on. We need to get past this, you know years and years of years of these, you know, fishing expeditions, false ex ex false <clears throat> attacks, okay, directed energy attacks, including murderous attacks, including murders of people, false accusations, setups, you know, all that stuff's been going on. <laughs> so it's none of that's fair, right, should be, should be accepted. Um, it's all extremely dangerous, deadly. Um, so what we should be doing is erring on the side of, you know, innocent until proven guilty. And there's just, there's no, I haven't done anything that bad. I really haven't. Um, and, you know, what should be looked at are my, you know, my arrest records, of which I don't have any because I was never arrested. Now, there was, you know, the abduction that happened in January 2014 under false pretenses, total setup. Everybody got to know that that was a setup because it was so big. 
um, and a lot of falsified medical records and a pattern, you know, lots of patterns, right? Patterns of corruption that can be shown with evidence. So rather than taking people's testimony at face value, especially since I can't cross-examine them and, you know, in a formalized situation or face them or even, you know, hear what they have to say directly. Um, I think you should just take me at my word. And if you, if you, if that's not enough, then, you know, look at your own experiences of, you know, direct evidence. But again, it's, it's hard because you, this, um, if I can't see the evidence as it's being presented, I can't address the specific evidence. And a lot of the stuff that's going on is setups, directed energy attacks, and a lot of people who are, you know, co corroborating lies. They have scripts. They've been reading, reading for scripts forever, especially, I noticed, up here in the Northwest. Um, so they get their stories straight, and, you know, they tell similar stories. And um, that's how people um, falsify history. Or, you know, they, they massage it, leaving sometimes very gaping holes, which one could argue is basically falsification, you know, depending on how, how much omissions you're leaving or how much you're spinning things. Um, so... With regards to these specific apparent, looks like, accusations. So Baton Rouge, city in Louisiana, means red stick. So the idea of being, you know, somebody going after you with a red stick. Alabama bound, bound could mean going somewhere, but it could also mean that, you you know, they've got you bound, like you're tied up. Um, so that's maybe a description. Um. Muy loco means, I believe it means very crazy, and it's Spanish, so um, that is one accusation that's been lobbed against me. Um, I'm just going to read through the accusations first, and then I guess I'll address them. Okay, so auto-tune is next that comes to me. 